What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I'm Fishing with Ty. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We're gonna be doing some boat modifications, if that's what you want to call it. If you guys have not seen the boat video, you guys are gonna want to go check that out. I'll leave a link to that in the description. But yeah, this is our boat right here. Today we're gonna be adding a few things to it, just some extra accessories that we really want. Let's get right into it. Got a couple packages at the front door that we're gonna open, and I'll see you guys on the front deck. Got some packages that I want to unbox. First one here is a, an air pump that we need for uh, our live wells, our portable live wells. We do not have legit live wells with some portable ones. It's, uh, it's pretty neat. Gotta put some batteries in this thing, but yeah. A little air pump. It's a little switch. This thing will do. It's magic. Keep the fish alive while they're in the live well. Nice one, Ty. I see it. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, yeah, look at that. It's actually a little bit bigger than I expected. Nice. Yo. What's up? Yeah. All right. Let's get this thing out of here. This looks like a pretty nice net. Jeez. That's a... That's a it's a big net, man. Yeah, we'll be able to land some nice ones. It's a good handle. Here's my bait well, just like a little bait well in case we ever need bait fish or something like that. Fill that up with water. Stick that thing in there. Let's turn this on. Oh, look at that. All right, so it definitely works, which is awesome. Produces you know a decent amount of bubbles. You can use that in here, and then also um, in our big live well that we're going to use uh, for the bass. So we'll be able to get them some nice oxygen so they'll actually be able to live those are the ones all right i'm gonna go use your sleep. just got rod holders yep it is uh it's really windy out so i'm using the gopro audio right now because it is just so freaking windy um we just had a pretty decent storm come through Cloudy gray skies. Oh, so cold. I know it. It went from uh, it went from 70, 70. to 50. Yeah, I mean, it dropped. Like 50 the wind's so bad. It just dropped and it's windy. See uh. ya. Uh, I'm gonna go grab the other ones. All right, what do we got here? Nope. Yeah, it's basically the same Nothing thing. The exact same, just a little bit different. Yeah, basically. I'm trying to figure out how we gotta get that out because we gotta get this out because that's what we're gonna screw into. Unless. I mean, that's definitely a screw. That's actually a screw. First things first, got to get those things out so that we can actually drill into this. We'll use these on the outsides and then the ones that they give us. Because we have, we have four screws. So two, two, and then the, the four in the middle. Using the ratchet wrench to get these screws out. And, uh, you got a scraper up? Scrape, yeah, because there's like all this stuff. All the, all the, um, all the top is kind of caked on top of the screw itself. Ryan's screwing the other one in right here, and then we're gonna get two screws for the outside. Tight. Uh oh. Okay, Ty, stop kicking the tripod. I'm really bad. There you go. <laughs> All right, folks, so this is just what we did here. We uh, These are, are gonna be our rod holders. So these are in the back. We're gonna have one here and one there, and then we'll also do ones on the other side too. We gotta drill those in. Yeah, we, uh, we basically are just gonna lay our rods down this way and they'll kind of just come across and they'll end about here. Like my biggest rod is about seven and a half feet and it'll end right there. So we'll definitely have enough room to still get seating up in the, on the front deck and uh, yeah, place our rods. So we're gonna do the other side, do a little time lapse of that and uh, yeah. And then we'll throw our rods on and test it out. Uh, 
That took way longer than it should have. We're not going. But we got it. Dude. We got him in. Jeez. Oh Lord. Dude, we had to. Oopsies. Lights. Alright. So, first, we had this screw. Screw. Just this drill. And this is all metal. This whole box is just metal. So, the little electric screw is not going to put holes in this. So, let's see how this big old boy, bad boy. <laughs> a little car. I we had to drill it in here. But this box, it was so easy to use this screw and drill in holes. Like it took us two minutes, 10 seconds. This one, I don't know why, it's like 30 times stronger this metal box. But we did it. We're good. We got it. That's our first modification to the boat. So. Yeah, let's get the rods. All right, folks. So this is the rod rack that we just built. So we got one on this side and one on that side. We're going to move them over, test this out. But yeah, basically these things are drilled into the back seats here and uh, we'll be able to fit like four rods in uh, each of these. So yeah, we got our rods that they come all the way up here and I mean, they'll be able to fit though. You can see you still got a nice like about maybe a foot of room. Um, so in case someone wants to sit here or sit on the other side, you're able to. And then yeah, I mean, that's it's pretty simple I and mean, it's a six rod holder but you can only really fit four because the way the uh how close the reels are to each other but yeah this is where we'll be storing all our rods this will be my side that'll be ryan's side and uh yeah that's that's basically that all right we'll see ordered two things Let's see what actually came yeah, they, yeah they're both in here boom all right so these are sheesh those are big these are our money bags. We're gonna use these for all of our soft plastics. So we'll individually have a bag per type of soft plastic. And I also ordered some extra batteries for the GoPro so we can get longer lasting battery life. I'm just gonna tear this box apart so I can charge up to three batteries at once. Boom. That's basically all we got. Right? All right guys, so I'll be unboxing our money bag. Pick that up. We're Literally. done. You litterer? I was about to say, no littering. What the heck, man? Alright, guys, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six money bags. So, as Ty said, we're just going to put all of our soft plastics in here. One for creature baits, one for stick baits, whatever. Or just really, anything we have in our at our tackle at home. Um, but yeah, these are really nice, real big. And then we're going to put these right into this compartment right here i'll just open that up real quick um this, this, this isn't is, going to be in there guys no, this won't be in there and none of that stuff will be either i don't think no, but I think, I think we actually there's gonna have plenty of room to put all the six of these bags um we'll figure it out though when the time comes but they're real nice they're gonna be perfect for soft plastic all right so uh let's start how about we start with like creature baits anything that we're gonna flip and pitch i got bandito bugs I got more bandito bugs. These are actually sankos and uh, crawls. Yellow bag, creature bait bag. Bag two, how about we do sankos and worms and stuff? Sanko one. I got some worms back here. Dude, look at, look at, look at the amount of green pumpkin sankos I got. Cause green pumpkin sucks around here. That's why. Yeah, All right, we'll just do anything that really swims. Trailers and swimmers. All right, we got that creature baits. That. Do I have any other plastics? Until we get like a toolbar that we can actually put stuff in. Yeah. Scales and. Correct. Yeah, scales and all that. Yes. Pliers, scissors. Scale. Extra batteries for the scale. And like a hook thing or dinger. Yeah, that and my bag my bag's empty at this point. So yeah, that's everything. And then um, we have an extra bag just in case. Yeah. There's anything Ryan else? Room. Yeah, and then whatever Ryan has. Yeah. All right. So the last bin that we're actually gonna do is uh, just some line. Just gonna throw 15 and 20, and just some uh, some heavy braid for like top water and stuff in here. Cause that's all we really mainly use. Uh, if you ever just have an emergency where we backlash real bad or need to cut a lot of line and got to re-spool on the go uh, so yeah so 
we'll have that. But yeah, those are uh, the five bags, and then we do have one extra in case we need anything else, but I just, I actually just grabbed this out of the boat. Uh, we got our tackle bin. So this is, I'll keep all my, my tackle boxes, like jigs, all the, all the um, top water, all the, all the good stuff. Keep all that in here. Honestly, I was thinking about putting a crappie box in my box too, just in case, I don't know, one day, here we go to the lake, the bass aren't biting, and you want to fish for some crappie. You never know. Uh, so yeah, I think that's all that will go in there. And uh, yeah, we're super excited getting all uh, rigged up, yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed our little boat modification video, uh, drop a like, drop a comment. We're still thinking of names for this boat. Ryan came out with a really good one, the Wolf. Kind of like it, it's all gray and stuff. It's interesting name, good start. Obviously, we're gonna have to wait a little bit before we like decide on a name. Ryan says maybe, we're, we'll think about it. It's, uh, it's a start, it's an idea, but yeah, if you guys got any boat ideas, video ideas, drop them down below in the comments. We're super stoked to get this out. We may have a very interesting video coming out for you in about a week, something uh, along the lines of uh, fishing on a river, and maybe for something not so largemouth bass related. So yeah, we're uh, super excited. And yeah, can't wait to take this thing out, get the motor going, and um, break the boat in. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Let's roll the outro. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh, go on.